सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू सीजीआई एंड वीएफएक्स प्रोडक्ट एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल डायनेमिक एनिमेशन एंड वीएफएक्स इफेक्ट सो गाइस आई शो यू माय टेक्सचर सो क्लिक ऑन हियर एंड अगेन गो टू बैक एंड प्ले या सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल कैंडी वीएफएक्स एनिमेशन एंड दैट्स माय प्रोडक्ट राइट Okay, so guys, now I teach you how I create this type of effect. So guys, now I show you my one frame render. So guys, go to one render and render image check. Yeah, see guys, that's my beautiful render, right? It's looking really beautiful. So close and go to one file and I create new project, new project check. So guys, delete all. So guys, now for tracking, I use this time After Effect. So guys, click on here. That's my new composition from footage check. So guys, import your footage. That's my footage. So import like this, right, guys? You, you can download this footage link in description. So go to one track and track camera check. Okay, so guys, my tracking is finished. And next one, guys, select your tracker points like this and right click, guys. Firstly, set ground and plane origin check. And second time, right click, create solid and camera check. Yeah, that's it, guys. So guys, preview. See, guys, that's my simple tracking. right it's good so guys next one import your tracking data in blender so stop and go to back so go to on here and guys select your transform and select top four position so copy and guys this time i use this one a to blend add on so guys create plane check and next one guys import camera here camera setting position or orientation copy and guys camera check So guys, see that's my camera. Press zero. Go to one back. And guys, next one. Starting from one second. So guys, double click on this camera and focal length copy. So go to one here focal length. And guys, paste. Yes. So guys, again go to one play. Yes. See guys, that's my tracking data. And next one, guys, import your same clip. So background. and add image and video clip so guys see that's my video clip import so again play yes right it's really simple and opacity 100% check so next one guys all is good and this time i increase frame so guys select this one that's my camera and and 550 so like 550 yeah and go to one back so play yes Okay, see guys, that's my simple tracking. And now next one, guys, I increase this plane size. This one scale size increase like this, and guys increase like this. Yeah, good, right? Okay, so guys, next one. This time I apply simple product. So go to on here file append. Guys, I have already create some box like this. and go to on collection select and append guys you can download this all assets from my website free so go to on up like this press zero yes and guys i change this some rotation and click on here that's my jam texture and rotation change like this yeah it's good right randomly increase okay so guys i increase size scale size increase like this yeah great okay so guys next one i create rotation and position animation so guys position all check and rotation all check and lastly guys go to on here so position change here and rotation like a 1440 1440 1440 enter yes and guys front like this yeah good yes this position is good and rotation and again all rotation and location check and guys now play yeah see guys that's my simple first product rotation and location animation right it's really simple tutorial guys So next one guys I create candy like a jams so stop and guys go to back so guys this time I take uv sphere and also 
I create new collection and guys this time I create new collection so go to on here and collection rename like a uh, jams and guys I take this time so guys select this one collection and I take UV sphere and change this time size so radius like a 0 0.2 actually 0 0.5 yes 0. Point, little bit change like a 0. 0.4 is good yes and guys go to an up right click shade smoother and guys create shape like this yes good right see guys that's my simple shape and now guys go to on wireframe yeah good okay so guys this time go to on here out of frame and guys this time i apply rigid body tag so guys select your jams and i apply rigid body so guys that's my active so guys shape it's my spherical field spare spare and bounce are like 0 0.5 friction 0 0.5 is good okay so guys next one so guys select this flow rigid body and passive and shape i like mesh and guys select your box this one so guys go to on here rigid body and it's my passive so setting animation check so guys shape and that's my box so box check yes and guys yeah all is good right and play yeah see guys that's my simple dynamic effect yes and guys next one select this pair and i apply more effect more jam so guys i like array and guys click on here so guys count i like 10 and increase factor like a 1.3 so guys i like more like uh, guys count I like 10 and factor change like a 1.3 yeah and guys lastly again I take array and guys count I like 10 so factor I like this time 3 height see guys, that's my bunch of candies so guys next one I apply all array apply and apply and guys I create individually so go to an edit mode right and guys press p and guys lose part check yeah that's it guys lose part check and again object mode and guys now i change this time center axis so go to an object and origin to geometry check yes see guys that's my center axis and guys now guys see that's my candies and guys also i create randomly rotation so guys select this layer and select object go to on here object and guys see that's my randomize transform check so guys rotation change randomly like a 45 like a minus 50 randomly yes right see guys that's my randomly rotation guys most important part don't overlapping okay so guys all is good so guys select your jams and object so align on here go to back and out of frame out of frame yeah and little bit more yes good okay so guys now next one i apply some effectors so guys i create this time here the, yeah i like this one so guys select your box collection this one and guys i take this time force field this one force check yes and also so guys this time second one i like turbulence turbulence check and increase size trouble size increase yeah and guys select this turbulence this one turbulence and i increase strength like a 50 and guys select your this one that's my force force field i like minus 200 is good 200 check yes that's it guys okay so guys now next one select this both object guys select this force and turbulence connect with this one box so guys select one more time i show you select both shape both field and guys after that holding shift key select this box and again shift s so use select to active check yes see guys that's my active object 
connect to on this one and guys i create parent so guys press control p and object check yes so guys play yeah see guys that's my dynamic effect so guys it's not correct so guys i change gravity so wireframe uncheck and guys go to on here and gravity i like zero and go to on here rigid body world so catch a so and i like 550 enter so guys play yeah see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect right it's looking really beautiful see guys that's really cool and guys now next one you can apply candy material so guys i already create material so guys go to on file and append and guys i have texture material so go to on here material select this ball material so guys select this first spare and apply this one material and guys after that select all and go to on object go to on here and guys see that's my link material check yes that's it guys so guys now go to on here see guys that's my beautiful material random materials right it's looking really beautiful and guys now next one select this flow this one that's my flow and i apply shadow catcher so guys i change render setting so cycle render device gpu check and sam 256 is good for me 256 and go to on here film and transparent check and color so guys view angle i like standard and go to on here so guys visibility and shadow catcher check yes that's it guys so guys now i create baking so guys click on here that's my dynamic bake check okay so guys my dynamic is finished and guys now go to on camera and play yeah really good see guys that's my really cool dynamic animation right okay so guys now next time i apply lighting see guys that's really cool okay so guys stop and click on here and i apply same hdri lighting so guys go to on here hdri so this time guys i apply this one this is fit for my hdri background and guys i show you my one frame render so guys go to on here yes and render and render image check okay so guys my one frame render is finished and guys close go to on compositing and use node check so guys this time i apply alpha over connect to this one and guys i like viewer and lastly movie clip so guys i apply same movie clip so connect to this one and connect to this one yes right see guys that's my composition it's looking really beautiful and again go to on here guys my work is finished and guys frame rate i like same frame rate 29.97 and output go to on here again desktop and i create new folder and take any file name guys i create final render and go to on here and render and render image check actually render animation check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you Finger.